Today is Good Friday. It's a wonderful day for us to remember the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a day that has been set aside for us to remember that day, to commemorate it. Christians all over the world, although lockdown shut in, still remember that 2,000 years ago, on a hill called Calvary, a man died. It was the most unique death ever to occur in human history. He wasn't dying for himself. He's dying for all of us, that in him we might have redemption. And his name is Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And this is how Jesus Christ himself described his impending death in John chapter 12, verse 23 and 24. But Jesus answered them saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Most assuredly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. Very interesting description. Jesus called his death glorified or glorification. In other words, Jesus didn't see his death as an end, but as a means, as a process, it was leading to something. So he didn't say the time has come for the Son of Man to be humiliated or to be killed. But the time has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. And that's how he wants us to look at life. Sometimes things happen to you and you think, oh, this is my end. People would say you are finished. There is no hope for you. But you know, God uses all of that for his glory to glorify you. So I pray whatever you're going through that makes you feel down, you can look at it as a time that God has set aside for your glory. And then Jesus also said that unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground, it abides alone, but when it falls to the ground, it will bear much fruit. So he saw his crucifixion as a means of productivity, of reproducing himself, of making more people to be like him. So what people saw as the end of his life, as the humiliation of his life, he saw it as his glory and as his amplification, magnification, reproduction, multiplying himself. And that's how we can also see our lives. For the church of Jesus Christ, Uh, We know that whatever was meant for evil for us, God uses it for his glory. And for you, remember that whatever was meant for evil for you, God uses it for his glory. It is for his glory and for your glorification. And I trust that whatever life throws at you, that is supposed to put you down and destroy you forever. When people prophesy your end, you are finished, there is no hope for you. May you bear much fruit. May you be like the wheat that falls to the ground and bears much fruit. Today, we thank God that Jesus died for us. But we also thank him that he rose again from the dead to give us new life. In him is our hope. In him is our help. And may Christ the crucified And Christ the resurrected be present in your life throughout this season of your life. God bless you. Have a great week. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.